on what? Right there. Mm. What was the hydroglyphic on that? What did it say? Secret entry. Entryway. Entryway. And in the last video, we saw orbs. So I think somebody's with us. Guardian angels. Yep. I think the guardian angels want to come to and mm -hmm. Well, not really. To Egypt. Oof, I can see the dust on that one. Where are my goggles? Oof. Oh. I need these. You know what, Tally? I don't think those were orbs. I think they were dust particles because you blew and you should see them all. But it's actually pretty cool looking at them. Yeah. You never know. Never know. Might be an orb. Maybe. Oh. And if you want to see the orbs, go to the last video. So what did that say in the book that the king? Maybe the king's here. The pharaoh's concern about grave robbers prompted him to equip his pyramid with numerous security measures. So that is a security to get in the pyramid. What's that button? So you're going to have to take that all off because it looks like it's meant to lift up. The whole top's meant to lift up. Do I need this layer? Yeah, you take that whole layer off there. Like all around the, the lock. Like right here, honey. You're going to have to go in like right here. I don't think I'd take that off, but take this off right here, okay? You leave that on. And just take that off. You're going to have to go at it sideways. It was awkward. Mm -hmm. Imagine doing it, it in a real pyramid if you're like in a stuck, you're stuck in a tiny little space. That would probably be awkward in real life as well. And you may have to take that whole circle of the ledge off if it's supposed to lift up. Okay. In a few minutes, look what we finally have. We have a big hole. But what we need to do is take all the bits. Let's see. No way. Can I just... Yeah, if you can. I can't. We'll chip away a little... Ooh! No! Let's see. What is in there? Sand or something. No way. Be careful. There might be treasures in there. No, yeah, I'm being careful with the sand. Very, very cool. Look inside there, guys. What is that thing? This? Yeah, that. That's what we just saw. We don't know what it is yet? No. Nope. Some sort of treasure. Okay, well, we're going to take a peek at the directions to see if there's... Tally, you leave that because we need to see if there's any more booby traps, right? Is it a booby trap? I don't know. What is that? I don't know. Let's let's figure it out, okay? Mm, I kind of just pulled that off. Well, maybe we weren't supposed to pull it off. Okay, stop and we'll follow directions, okay? Okay. What's going on? What is it? I don't know. It's an Egyptian artifact. And we were just reading that imagine over thousands of years the hot desert winds blew sand into the slits between the stones that form your pyramid. Now everything inside is buried under packed sand. And to excavate... 
you need to carefully pick through the sand because you never know where you're gonna, when you're going to hit an artifact. I see some other artifact things. How do they get the sand like that? I don't know. In real life, it's because the wind blows the sand in. But very, very hey, um, realistic, the sand hey? Sand there you go. <laughs> Need a little bit more, though, eh? Oh! <gasps> Is that the mummy? Look it. That looks like the mummy. I see arms crossed. Me too. That's King Pharaoh's mummy. The mummy of King Pharaoh. That didn't sound right, King Pharaoh's mummy. <laughs> Straight this way. Yeah, this did not come with it. I buy it. So if you get this, do not expect this. Mm-hmm. Or this stuff. That is from um the dinosaur. a tooth hygiene kit. That's to actually scrape your teeth. You can buy that at Dollar any. Uh, I think I bought that one at Walmart. But yeah, you can buy that almost anywhere. But yeah, it's from a dental hygiene kit. But it has a that nice sharp like a end, tube. so that actually works better than the plastic ones we find. So but you have to be careful because they're sharp, right, Tally? Gotta be careful not to jab your finger. Apparently, I was not supposed to pull that off. Yeah, that was to lock it again. But I, but that was hard to pull off. <laughs> Look, that's do and pop on. This is very cool. I'm glad we got this. And you do not reuse any of this. And unless I'm, it's for a sandbox. This. And I'm glad that you chose to study ancient Egypt. It's a very cool thing to learn about. Mm, looks like a mummy and some hands or something. Can you move your hand for a sec and your head? Um, like um. Here, let me get off the loose sand and maybe we can see. It's like a vase or a container of some sort. <laughs> I see a face. I see a face. I see a face. I'm glad software is canceled. To be honest. <laughs> so yeah, it was too bad your last day of soccer was cancelled, but we did make it into a very fun day. Made brownies and, and excavated pyramids. And this whole kit is from, um, it's put out by National Geographic, and the brand is Thames and Cosmos, and it's an archaeology pyramid dig. And it's recommended for ages 8 up. Um, Natalia's 7, but she's doing quite well with it. Um, it's it's quite delicate. You have to follow directions. So maybe under the age of <gasps> whoa, That's the mummy, the king. But yeah, maybe under the age of about I don't know seven or eight, they can still do it. But they just need some some parental guidance. But the brownie mix does not come with it. <laughs> <laughs> does not include brownies. Got to make your own brownies before you do your excavation. Yeah. yeah, made for a fun afternoon, that is for sure. Found another one. What is this? Oh, it looks like a puppy, but I wonder if it's supposed to be a sphinx. Do they have puppies in ancient Egypt? Probably. I know they had cats. And you know what, Natalia? I do remember hearing that a lot of people would bury their animals with them because they wanted to be together in the afterlife. So they would get their, their animals, their pets mummified as well. So the king must have had a dog. We're going to have to Google. What's his name? King. Let's see here. Kafufu? It was something funny like that. Jack Sparrow, I think. K-H-U-F-U. Kahufu. Kahufu. 
Sounds like a little fuzzy puppy. Fufu. <laughs> Fifi. Kafufu. Fifi. Exactly a name. But I don't think it's a name for the Fifi. Fifi. Fufu. Fifi. Fufu. Fifi. Fufi. Fufu. Nick, what did you get? He was just riding it. A new bike? A new bike. That's amazing. We just need some training wheels on it, eh? Mm -hmm. And it even matches your red and the bike's red. <laughs> oh, wowza. Tally, honey, just go to the side so I'm, you're not blocking the bike. Whoa. That is very cool, little man. Can you pause for a picture? And just the bike. Dominic, look at me. And one from the side. Shawama. Very nice. That is a pretty big bike for a little fella. Gonna have to grow into that one. It looks good though. Lower that goes through. And then I take this light out and then go a little bit lower. They all go back inside. He said it's 12 inches, but I don't know. Oh, oh that was an one down? Okay. Uh, we got it off. We got to go off. Uh, uh. Dominic, we made a treat inside. <laughs> Mommy and Tally were busy. Okay, I'm gonna take this. It's good for. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Very nice. Oh, apples are getting big, big, big. Tally, just wait. Can you set them on? That would make a nice picture from the side. Okay, back up a little bit. Whoopah! It's okay, bud. Here we go. Look at me, look at me. Very nice. <laughs> One more. One more, look at me. Yeah. Very nice. Yeah. Dominic, once you're ready to ride it with no training wheels, I can teach you that. It's very easy. Yeah, I was surprised how fast you learned. Let me just slip on some shoes. Let me stop on the dog. Oh, look at even the kitty wants to see your new bike. Yeah, he can go for a ride in the bike, eh? That is very nice. Did you have fun going out with Daddy? Yeah. Us girls had fun too. We made brownies and excavated a pyramid. Wow. Wow, look at you, boy. Am I gonna get stung by a wasp down in here? Under, on your foot there, there. Yikes. Those wasps are those regular bees. Those are wasps. Again, eh? We're gonna have to seal them in again. Yep. Yep, there he goes. Did you see him just going in the hole? Is it the wa it? Yeah, come out, quick. The wasps want to live under my house. Dominic, do you want to see sis? Okay, let's see sis, right? It. It's easy, but. Once you learn, it's very easy. Let's turn this baby around. It's like driving a car. Once you learn, you're good to go. So you see, and you turn off one foot. Whoa, look at your sister go. And you just turn. Nice, eh? And then you turn around. No, not so nice. She's taking off with my new bike. <laughs> Nothing nice about that, Daddy. We're gonna have to go stop and get him training wheels. I'll see if they I got any on. <laughs> That's still gonna be a little big for him, but. Yeah, this guy's just coming in and out here, so. Yeah, you're gonna have to seal them in ASAP. Because I don't want the kids to get stung, or me neither for that matter. Very cool! You're gonna have to get some. 